Cars and duties are covered very well in, in Concise's, in Weiss's Concise. Um, it's uh, page 11 for those of you that want to follow along with us. And I'll have that up in just a moment. Powers and duties. There are three types, general, special, and discretionary. And it is settled that trustees of an express trust are afforded greater latitude to carry out their duties than ordinary trustees. This is a powerful trust organization you're creating. And these powers include, you want to give us page 12? Mm -hmm. The power to bind the trust in a contract. The power to contract with the beneficiaries. The power to partition, exchange, sell, pledge, or mortgage the trust property either in whole or in part, the power to lease trust property, the power to issue, change, or otherwise dispose of securities of the trust, the power to support the beneficiaries in all reasonable manner, the power to prosecute and defend in the trust's name or trustee's name, the power to make gifts out of the trust property. You can give it away if that's, if that's in the best interest of the beneficiaries. Now, remember, every one of these rights comes with an obligation, too. We're going to get to those, too. Uh, the uh, power to delegate power to exercise personal judgment and every discretionary power not prohibited by the trust instrument. Okay, A trustee may do whatever a man or woman may lawfully do according to natural right. Okay, And then the fundamental principle of law is that for every power there's a correlative duty. They're the same. The duties include the duty to support the beneficiaries. Um, their essential needs should be should be covered by the trust as outlined in the intention of the trust instrument. Uh, the duty to refrain from taking advantage of peculiar, peculiar knowledge or position when dealing directly with the beneficiaries. The duty to exercise the utmost, utmost <laughs> the utmost good faith in all concerns of the trust. The duty to preserve, protect, and further the trust's interests. The duty to exercise at least a general supervision of the trust affairs, meaning if you delegate uh, to someone else any of the powers, you still you, the trustee is still responsible. Mm -hmm. The duty to keep minutes and separate accounts for the trust. The duty to secure and protect the trust property and trust documents. Uh, when investing trust funds, the duty to invest them securely. The duty to concur with all co-trustees except where authorized to act individually. So those are some heavy duties that go with the, you know, that go with uh, the responsibilities that go with the rights. And uh, you know, uh, if as to go back to my former example, if if the if the uh, trust, the intention of the trust uh, allows for for the trustee to do whatever he may please, as long as it's in the best interest of the trust, then uh, best interest of the of the trust and its beneficiaries, then the trustee could technically give give the trust property away. Uh, however, he has a duty to the beneficiaries, and that must, as described in the trust instrument, that must be carried out as well. So the duties, you know, the obligations of the trustee may counter some of the rights of the trustee in ways that the trustee has to, you know, be careful that he's doing, he's acting in the best interest of the trust and the beneficiaries.